Good morning, everybody. I am Russ. This is Chris. It is Wednesday. What? These people have not seen me upset, I guess. I guess they hadn't. They haven't? You know what makes me upset every what? morning? What's that? When I try to open one of these flimsy-ass bottles, and you can't hold it tight enough without the water coming out all on you. Okay. I have not had that problem. So Dasani, from now on. Dasani needs to be a sponsor. You, you can't get it tight enough I have without think. squeezing I, I the bottle enough. I can't, I can't, I can't go. I can't, I'm going to bring one tomorrow. I can't and help have you, you open that. it. Okay. I can't help you Of that. the Aquafina bottle. When you go to squeeze it to open and it. open it, right, right. Okay. it comes out. It gets in here. So now when you take a drink, it drips on you. So we have created a monster. Oh! Amanda. This ain't the first. This is just y'all's first time seeing this. He has. He's the. He can go. He can go on a tirade. Well, we did get a lot of comments on that yesterday, and I was like, okay, all right. I. I. Uh, it, it proved our point that at what point do you stop <clears throat> having to babysit people because of their bad attitude? And there it is. And I think it goes across the board for any business. I think that's, I think that's how we ought to address those people. I ought to go, man. Sorry for your bad attitude, but you can't eat here anymore. Yeah, that, I mean that might be the way. We, to do we it. can't help your bad attitude. You don't have to take it out on us. That's what exactly right. And that, if, there you go. If Rex is watching, we actually talked about that me and Hope yesterday while we were out locate uh, scouting locations, and we ate at Jim's Crispy Chicken, and I'm gonna talk about that in just a second. Not even a sponsor, but I'm going to talk about that. And we talked about that, and it went into the same thing about when we, we would do movies. It should be called Jim's Magnesium Sulfate, probably. Let me just say, <laughs> first, first, let me just say, yeah, let's just, it don't matter, people are going to bitch. Just, it's just going to happen. So, forget them. Just screw them. Anyway, we at Jim Crispy Chicken, I, we go by Sam's. We look at those pelican cases, they're not there. And he goes, dude, I want to go to Jim's Crispy Chicken. I said, let's go. I, he goes, I don't, I don't ever get to go because Trish wants to go to Chrissy's Burgers over there. I'm glad I didn't go because it's not on my diet. So. Except you probably lost some weight. Oh. Let me just say, I, it's been a long time since I've been over there and ate there. And, and, and it has been, and you know now the church's chicken over by Taqueria Number 9 is Jim's Crispy Chicken. I did not know It that. is. That's what it is. So we go in there, and I said, what do you get, Hoke? He said, I'm going to get the six tenders. I said, okay. He goes, they're big. I said, come on, dude. I can, you know me. I can eat. So we get six tenders. And let me just say, folks, they are this long, and they are this big around. I could only eat three. Now, I felt like a loser because I have been not eating as many calories, keeping my calories at 2,000. I felt like a wimp. Hope goes, well, you just, what's the matter? You, you know, and I'm like. So did Hope eat all his? No, nope, he couldn't eat all his okay. either. He left one. Right. He could have ate it, like he said. He goes, I'm full. I can make myself miserable. But let me just say, Jim's crispy chicken was the gift that kept giving <laughs> because. I can only imagine. I was lubed up and felt amazing at 6 o'clock like this last night. Clogs your arteries and cleans out your colon. Ah, that's huh? exactly what it did. That's exact. But I'm just gonna say, if you guys want to eat some good chicken, even though they're not a sponsor, and we have the cluckers, which is totally different. Right. Golly, man, they they put it on there. I, I want to. It was just. It was huge. We could have split that meal and been happy. Well, if you ate three, I couldn't eat but one. I'm telling you. It was that big, and Hope, Hope's going to chime in on there, and you'll see. But last night, mm -hmm. Steph and me were talking, and I won't tell you a story, and then it's, it's going to be a bullshit session. Okay. Have at it. Yesterday was a rant session. Today's a bullshit session. I have two garbage cans, and they sit right out there at the front. I put my there because my gym's full, and one of them's cracked, mm -hmm. and it's broken. And I've been trying to get rid of that son of a gun. I've been trying to get rid of that son of a gun. I don't need it. So, 
Garbage comes on Friday mornings. Last Friday, I had them both out there because we were cleaning out some stuff. And I went, wind blew over, and I went, here's my opportunity. Wind's blowing, everybody's trash cans everywhere. I take my broken trash can, and I put it in my neighbor's little cubby over here where he has his trash cans he puts his beer cans in. And I go out last night, and I'm like, I'm finally, I, he ain't gonna know, I finally got rid of it. I go out last night, and I'm putting my trash in, it's full, and my neighbors are out, and they go, hey, is this your trash can? And I go, ha, God dang, what's that thing doing over there? And he goes, I don't, man, I don't know. I guess that blowing around the yard, I was like, man, God, I, you know what, I'll get it. No, it's full. But after this, I'll give it to you. It's broken. I don't. I didn't want it. I didn't know whose it was. I went, I don't even know how that son could have got over there. Should I have told the truth? If you wanted to tell the truth, this is what you should have said. All that trash that blows out in my yard <laughs> from your yard, use my trash can to put it in and just keep it. That is true. Because your whole side over here if, is when loaded it gets windy, full of stuff. When it gets windy, it comes out of their <laughs> trash into my... Nice, pe nice guy. Though. So, I just, you know you can just put, throw this away, a little note on there. Well, I did not know that away. until he said that. So okay. there will be a note on that trash can okay. from now on. Yeah. Because they always, I thought. They will throw, the trash people will take trash cans. Trash right, cans. Good. And I just was bullshit, <laughs> and I came in and told Stephanie, she went, I hear you saying that. I hear you going, what? <laughs> <laughs> that guy over there. How did that? With the lid on it too? Perfect. God <laughs> dang. Wind blew it all over there. But do you find yourself bullshitting to to instead of just and and I don't want to say you you're lying to it, just kind of not as much anymore. Huh? Not as much anymore. But just because with wisdom comes I don't give a care. Yeah, I, that's true too. You know what? It used to be you you told a little white lies just because you didn't want it. You didn't want the hassle. Now you just tell the truth because you don't want the hassle. Yeah, uh, yeah. And I think that is, and that's where I was going is how how easy would it have been? <clears throat> yeah, dude. I just I didn't know if you needed another trash can. I stuck it over there. It's broke. I don't want it. But I did the old. I did the old Gary Wayne. I Gary Wayne them suckers. I was oh, man, you know that man. <laughs> Old. Well, <clears throat> our sponsor of the day is the Sharp Tank. Sharp Tank. Uh, and you can only find these gentlemen on Twitter. Yes. At the Sharp Tank. Now, listen, <clears throat> the reason they're our sponsor is the brackets are tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And if you don't have your bracket or you don't have your picks or you want to pick other people, that's who you might want to shoot a at Twitter, the Shark Tank boys. Now, from what I understand, they don't take, they're not always going to give you an NBA game right. or whatever. They're going to give you hockey. They're going to give you baseball. They're going to give you soccer that you've never heard of. But they seem to be winning. So they give might them a shot give if you, you uh, are a Lorena, Lorena versus Robinson Junior High basketball game. I'm sure they probably got odds on that. I didn't even know there was a line on it. There, there, there probably is. Knowing them, there could be. Now, I know these guys. And I, I have a hard... It's shocking, I have a hard time <coughs> believing their winning streak that's going right now. Hard time. But I, I'm not going to say nothing. I'm not going to say anything. They're our sponsors, so I'm happy. There are $9 billion bet on the NCAA tournament. They said there is only $3 billion that legal. is legal. Mm -hmm. What are you betting on? It's a, it's a $10 pot. So that, that, that's, that's how gambling. you do it. Yeah, okay. that's gambling. Okay, because I was like... And it is illegal for bars and stuff to do it. But I know of one that's $10. Oh, you really? want in on it? Yeah. Okay. Just let me know. Just let me know <laughs> if you want in. You know what? I have a hard time this as I now. I don't follow enough basketball, so I'm kind of <clears throat> I'm kind of just guessing into the wind. 
on who I see on ESPN. I don't follow college basketball like we used to. No, I don't either. So now it's kind of that deal of, well. But the teams that are always there. Oh, yeah. You need to. You need to give them con- some consideration. The new teams that haven't been there probably aren't going to do that well. Our hometown Baylor boys have not done well in the tournament. I mean, no matter what seed they are. Uh, early in the year, I'd have had them going deep. Not Late. going deep. Nope. Not going That's deep. That's more of the football team. Uh, <laughs> anyway. Golly. Maybe Baylor should sponsor. Maybe they need up here. Maybe they do. You know, on our good side. Hey, you want to get out of here? We're going to get out of here. You want to get out of here with yesterday's joke? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Let's see if he gets the bullshit out of this or he's on the spot. You want to get out of yesterday? You want to tell yesterday's joke? Okay. <laughs> a variation of a very <laughs> funny joke I heard the other day. I don't even know how this is going to go, so I'm even excited to hear this. Two hillbillies. Okay, here we go. Are sitting there. Right. One of them's a reverend. Okay. You know, they have hillbilly reverends. Right, yeah. Preachers up in the hills, you know. Right, he I went, agree with that. Pope John Paul's coming over. You should go with me. I got an invitation. So let's just, let's just put it's this just as two me hill. and you. Me and you. Okay, okay. You be the reverend. Okay, I'm the reverend. So... You're in your overalls. They're all dirty and nasty. Normal. Out when there. you show up to go see the Pope. Right. So I go, man, you can't you can't go see the Pope with me looking like that. Okay. You got your hands in your pocket, you know, shaking them around. I, all right. When we go in there, I'm going to sit over here and you sit over here. All right. Okay. I got all you. right? Right. So we're not sitting together. I don't want you near me. Got it. So the Pope comes in. Comes by me, looks at me, keeps walking. Walks straight over you. You're sitting over there, got your hands in your pocket, pulling out pecans, eat them. That's... I'm looking down there, all of a sudden I see. Okay. I got blessed. You got blessed. What? And I don't understand this. So, after it's over, I said, you know what? I'm a man of the cloth. Right, I agree. And the Pope walked straight past me to you and blessed you. You and you went, no. Nah. He went, hey, hillbilly, get them pecans, get that hillbilly, and get the hell out of here. <laughs> <laughs> but you can take any variation <laughs> and put in there. Let me just say, man, <laughs> even that one was funny. Yesterday was funny. <clears throat> Y'all know we're, we're not racial, but the joke is with Reverend uh, Jesse Jackson. <laughs> And Mike Tyson, you can fill in the blanks. <laughs> but it is hilarious. Oh, it is hilarious. I want to do the Peter Griffin and find where the jokes where the jokes come from, where people come up with these. You know what I mean? Where I don't know, but I get one every day on my phone somehow from jokes.com. I'm going to start following that. And I might need to start telling one. Some of them are really fun. Jokes.com. We used to do a joke of a day. We might need to do it again. Uh, today, chicken fried steak, Ooh. mashed potatoes, Ooh. and vegetables. Ooh. Ten dollars, ten dollars. You know, chicken fried steaks like a text, like a Texas it is tradition. Tradition, yeah, man, I totally agree. I like that we do it on Wednesdays. That's awesome. And who do we have this weekend? Kyle Park on Friday. Friday, which Kyle is Kyle Park. St. Patty's Day. St. Patty's Day is Friday. And most of those Texas country artists that are coming through have a fifteen dollar ticket, twenty dollar day of. He is only ten and fifteen. And guess what? I will be there for my birthday, so come and on And your out. birthday is Sunday, yes. March the 19th. Presents, welcome. Yes. And uh, I forgot what I was going to say. But I like Kyle Park, so I'm going to make a post on Facebook. And people who want to come out and hang out, come on out. I ain't been out in a while. That's right. So right, that's I'm right. kind of excited. I, I am excited, too. I might come before he starts playing and then leave, me and that, Stephanie. Well, he starts at nine. Oh God! So I mean, yeah, so you got a whole like good hour for you. Seven to o'clock, home. be gone by eight. Yeah, I'm good, man. Have a wonderful, have a wonderful, wonderful day, man. Until tomorrow, or watch, like, and share. I am Russ. This is Chris.